Miss Elizabeth, 69 years old woman to Nigeria by a 26 years old boy. And when he brought the woman to Nigeria, the intention is to wed or to marry the woman. Now, before then, they had collected over half a million dollars from this woman. So, but the woman did not believe that she was being scammed. The woman believed that she was still in love. So when they gave me the information, I requested for the, the, the contact, the phone numbers, we were able to geolocate the, the, where the woman, the location and everything. I now mobilized our officers from, from Lagos to go for the arrest. We arrested the woman eventually, took the woman to our office in Interpol building uh, then, and of course, the woman still believed that she was still in love. It was only when we checked her device, her phone, that we were able to prove to the woman that, look, your credit card is already being compromised. That was when she now believed that she was being scammed. Now, the story is, after the whole thing, they managed to take the woman back to America and were charged the suspects to court. They were reminded in prison custody. Eventually, they were able to contact the woman again. Nobody knows how. They contacted the woman, and when they contacted the woman, they still lured the woman back that they were going to marry. The woman came back to Nigeria, got back to uh, married the same suspect, and approached court and told court that we are in love, we are husband and wife. At that point, the, work, the case was dismissed. So most times you still talk to victims, they won't even believe you. Most times, the way we are speaking now, we are discussing about the effects and the challenges and how to stay safe online. Some of us will be looking at me that this man is talking, <laughs> giving folk tale. It's not folk tale because if you're not careful, it's going to happen to, to. So the most important thing is to understand that we have those capabilities. We helped one Miss Lee to recover 2.3 million euro. That it was a romance scam case too. We recovered the money and reverted money back to... Uh, now, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that some of them, instead of collecting money, cash, or sending it through bank transfer, they now collect it through cryptocurrency. So, in our office, we have that expertise. We can trace any form. We have the technology. If there is anything that has to do with cryptocurrency investigation or cryptocurrency fraud, we can unmask everything about the fraud. We can even get to the cash out point. You see the yellow dots and the yellow dots. This picture, this thing you're seeing, is the analysis done, is the, is the, is the, is the, is the analysis done through um, the cryptocurrency uh, account of that particular mislead. So we were able to analyze this. The yellow point was the, uh, the cash out point. That was how we were able to get the cyber criminals. Of as we speak, they are all facing uh, prosecution. So whatever thing that you want concerning cryptocurrency investigation, we're always there to to help. You can you don't need to transfer your case. What you just need is to send a letter, crop the crypto account because it's too long, it's just too long. So crop and paste, then send to us. We're going to do the analysis and send back to you. We don't want you to transfer your case. But our job is to help help your investigation, anything concerning crypto. So these are the, the threat actors that were arrested. This is the owner of the account, but this one that is coming is the, the owner of where they cashed out from.